Can you say that with me, please? Say, rise up and try again. Come on, one more time. Rise up and try again. Listen, you blew your first marriage. Rise up and try again. You just messed up. You weren't there. Look, you had two kids. You did a bad job. You got one. Get it right. And tell the other two, I really messed up on you guys. It's, there's something that liberates you when you can say, that was not a good job. That was not my best. But that's okay. In the name of Jesus, this is not the end of my life. This is not the end of the journey. I will not surrender to this moment. I'm going to rise up and try again. Come on, amen. Are you hearing me? You rise above this. I think it's hard to be honest. I went to see a guy, he was in hospice, he was looking, he looked awful. He looked awful, he was sitting in hospice, but you don't go in the hospice room and say, you know, in the hospital, the guy's dying and say that. I said, well, how you doing? And he said, uh, now, um, his name's not Robert, but I'm gonna make it. I said, Robert, you're, you're looking good. He said, you lying preacher. <laughs> he, did. he did, he told me, and I laughed. I said, you're right. I am, you look awful. You look like you're dying, boy. He said, I am. <laughs> Let's take a moment and look at life and say the truth to ourselves and say, we've got a Judas in the room that's silent and is following us and pulling us. And I need to just say, that was awful, it was bad, but my future is not defined by what I did or where I lived. It's up there in the front of me.